Hey everybody, this is Dean at Motion Media. Today we are going to look at <coughs> how to build some uh, somewhat low detailed uh, buildings uh, to make up a night time future city scene. Uh, this is a shot from the movie Akira and I am rebuilding it in 3D and you can see here I have some models going um, here's an example render of what it's looking like so far and basically I'm just trying to go as quickly as possible uh, get the basic forms and then be able to add uh, this window detail in a few different ways so that number one I can control the scale um, from building to building and the colors and then you can see I'm also adding little accent lights here I am using V-Ray um, and I'm putting little uh, colored lights at the base of the buildings uh, to create uh, you know just some more scale and interest and what have you so for the moment we're gonna build this one here real quick so I'm just totally doing this from scratch on the fly so um, uh, so let's take a look so I've already got some buildings going and I've got the rough um, scale of my city determined so I'm going to uh, create a spline in the top viewport, an end gun, make it circular and uh, again I have my rough scale worked out so I'm just kinda doing a little rough placement here so I can uh, make sure I get that scale correct so I'm going to match the diameter of the spline based on its place in the 3D scene uh, and make it roughly the same size here, okay? So um, this looks to be like <coughs> just a circular building, but actually I'm going to change it just a little bit. I'm going to make it a little oval and uh, I'm going to turn up the smoothness of this spline too, okay? So now I'm going to just simply extrude this. Okay. Give it some height here. Get the base down where it should be with the rest of them. And uh, get this tall here. So let's do 51,000. About 55 here. Okay, so that's pretty close. Alright, so now we're going to uh, cut in the various floors. So I'm just going to literally count. So there's about 12 floors, so I'm going to make it about 20. Just because we see more of it in... Uh, I'm actually going to make mine a little taller. So it had about 12 floors that we could see. I'm going to add about 20 and uh, so what we're going to do is add an edit poly modifier and first I'm going to select all the faces and I'm going to give them a, uh, an ID of 1 okay now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select all of these not the top and the bottom Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this different. I'm going to actually just make one floor. So let's just do that. I think that's going to be easier because now that I look at it, I want it to be a little more intricate. So let's make one level. Um, represent one floor. Okay, that looks good. So let's go in here. Let's add an edit poly and uh, let's uh, actually let's do edges so let's take these edges uh, let's connect them once alright let's take that set of vertices we're gonna move it up a little bit from the top view we're going to scale them uh, but just 2D scale them and give it a bit of a lip there actually you know what, before I do that I'm going to add another layer. Uh, 
Okay. So we'll take this one. Just move it up just a little for a second. Alright, we'll scale it in the top viewport on just X and Y. Just to give it a little bit of a lip here. We'll bring this up. Now because this is at night and um, everything's pretty dark, there's not going to be really any um, main light source. I don't have to put every detail in here. So uh, I just gave all the faces an ID of one. So now we're going to cut in the glass. And I'm going to add just a little bit of detail here. Um, just so the light can catch some of the edges. <coughs> so first I'm going to inset it. So there's a lip for where the glass might ble be. I'm going to leave those at one. Then I'm going to extrude them on a local level. Inward. Negative extrusion. Okay, again, just to give us a, a nice little difference there. And then uh, I'm going to give these material ID 2. Now I'm going to select all the polys in here. And whenever you do extrusions or insets that create new faces, um, it doesn't smooth those faces. So I've selected them all. I'm going to do an auto smooth based on uh, 25 degree angle threshold here. Okay, so now I have my basic building element. Now I'm going to turn on my snap tool. And I'm going to grab this vertex, snap it to that one. And I think we had 24, 20 floors. I'm going to do 25 this time. Now the benefit of that was uh, no good there. Let's try that one time. Let's try it. Let's uh, turn our viewport here a little bit. Okay. We don't get so much craziness. Okie dokie. Alright. Okay, you can see we roughly have the same height there. Alright, so now I'm going to go into my material editor. I've already established a bunch of variants here, so I'm just going to copy this one and call it building oval. I'm going to apply it. Now, for the moment, you can see I already have the correct IDs, so I'm going to quickly, first I'm going to add UV mapping to the entire building and use a cylinder. I'm going to fit it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is going to add a mesh select to break our selection. I'm going to add an edit poly. And I'm going to go into face mode and say select all of the faces with ID 2. Now we're going to add separate mapping for that so that we can control the scale of the windows separately. And uh, I'm going to hide everything else for a moment. Turn off the background. Do a quick render. Okay, you can see over here what we got going. Alright, that's uh, it's actually not horrible. But uh, I would like to turn that around. So I'm going to go into sub-object of the mapping, and I'm just going to kind of guesstimate here and do another render. Okay, it's a little better. Just wanted most of those windows facing me. And so I'm going to actually go in here. Um, you can see I have the uh, glass here as a V-Ray light object with a couple of maps layered on top of each other. And then uh, that's blended with a reflection. Kind of put the inside and outside in one map. And then uh, this is the surface of the building, which I'm actually going to turn off the reflection on this one. 
and uh, I think I'm going to change the texture here. Just, uh, something a little different. Turn that up a bit. And uh, another re render here. And so, um, oh, that looks good. Uh, so you can see here when I have, if I unhide everybody and do a render here while I'm talking, um, this is a really easy way. Now, obviously, this technique is not going to work if you try to get up close to these buildings, but from far away, this is a really sort of cheap, easy, and quick, efficient way to uh, uh, build a scene, uh, a big city scene, without um, spending weeks and weeks and weeks on it and uh, uh, getting the right amount of detail. And at any time, as I render these all together, I can already tell that these windows feel uh, too big scale-wise. You can tell everything else is little. So let's just go in, and that's why I keep all of these <coughs> um, mapping coordinates separate in the history. I'm just going to scale this down. And that allows me to quickly go in and kind of adjust all these things individually um, to make sure that we uh, we get the scale right. And uh, let's just see what this looks like. And I'm going to show a close-up here. These buildings I used a slightly different technique. Um, here I combined the inside and the glass in one. On these I actually made a series of windows that I could scale in any direction and just throw on the front of these buildings. Okay, so you can see this looks better. This might be... Um, I think I'm going to use a different color, but I think that uh, that works better. It feels like the same, uh, same rough scale as the others. So let me just zoom into one of these so you can see what I mean. Alright, so that works good. So you can see on these, I created this bank of windows. Oops. Open this group real quick. Okay, so I can zoom into here. This is just a plane, you can see, with an edit poly, where I did um, various uh, insets and extrusions to basically give me a window frame. And then you can see they... I don't know if you can see this in Shinmon. Then you can see I put the glass element inside, and they're literally just sitting on top of this geometry. Because again, it's dark scene. You're not ever going to be able to tell, and uh, gives me plenty of detail. And uh, the final result uh, is uh, very convincing. So that's it, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.